Okay, so, um, and it usually says that if you stick the kind of middle letters first, uh, it's better, although I've got um, two middle letters, so it's gonna be interesting, but let's see how we get on. So kind of can work, roughly think that that's about right. Um, so let's just see, keep that down. And then come down and just stick my U in. And then a G. And these are just letters I cut out last week for um, a different card. And I just thought we would have a play with them today. Let's see, so got a bit of dry glue stuck there. So just, just put a bit of wiggle room there, I think, to move it over just slightly. That's it. And then um, pop my S down. And these are um, an old alphabet letter. I, I have loads of letters, different ones. Um, I just think they're a good thing to have in your craft stash. Just some alphabet dies and then the hit. Hopefully I'm going to take this away that these are going to be a semi strain anyway, <laughs> even with the ruler there, I'm kind of thinking. Oh, right, and then pop that down. There. Okay, so I've got my hugs. And then what I'm going to do, well, my plan is, is to have this gone along underneath with um, a whole array of colours of triangles. So I kind of think that I'm going to sort of start by having a triangle and then just different colours with a little bit of um a gap. I'm gonna do. I think. I think I'll. I'll do that. I'll go along and um, get all the colours, and then I might have to just trim a little bit because I do want a border at the top and at the bottom. But I'll. Um, I'll kind of start and just. It may be that I need to trim a little bit off the bottom whenever I get them all down. So I will pop that down, and that's just. I'm gonna glue one down first, and. Um, let me just see. So I'm going to glue, start, and I'm going to glue it half on, half off. So let's just see if I just so the points are, and that's just, that's my starting one basically. Got a little bit of glue there. Um, so if I cut that off now so it doesn't cause me any angst. Let's just cut that. I might go on the other end. <laughs> um, so that's that done. And then what I'll do is I'll pop the next one in and that's going to be upside down. Okay, so I'm, I'm not really um, doing it in any particular order of colour. I'm just going to stick some colours down and see how I get on. So let's just come in and leave a little bit of a border. And hopefully as I go along I'll keep these straight. I'm kind of starting up to get an idea of what I'm doing. I might be a little bit off but it's handmade. So and I kind of wanted bright brightish colours. So, uh, and the other thing, if you had like um, a Christmas tree, there was a Christmas tree punch. I did get it out to share. Uh, oh, I this one. If you had that one, because it's just a plain triangle, you could just cut the tree bit off at the bottom, and that would be a triangle. Um, just thinking of different variations of, and obviously you can create your triangles just by cutting 
uh, rectangles out. Okay, that stays in. It's just as well as glue dries clear. <laughs> so going along, basically, red gel, and then I've got a nice green here. These are just papers actually that I had, so I'm just gonna hopefully they won't. Let's just see how they glue. Won't put too much glue on them because um, I'm not sure whether they're. I think I'll be all right, actually. I just don't know whether they might wrinkle up a little bit. Okay, and then if I go back and do some nice kind of bright pink one. So I'm not going for um, a rainbow or anything. I'm just going for bright colours, just so you know. And you could do this with squares. You could do it with circles. Um, it doesn't have to be triangles. I just kind of like the idea of, as I say, I was doing ge ge geometric, geometric patterns. And then we've got try full red one. Oops. Okay. So I'm just going to work my way along. I've got a nice little um, sparky one there, I might just stick that one in. Pop that on. Ah, that's nice, just a little sparkle there in the middle, like that. Blue, green, and then a pinky colour. I've got another little pinky colour I'll pop on, just. Oh no, I'll stick to the nice bright pink. So this is another way of using up scraps to be fair. And you all know how much I have in, in the way of scraps. I've got so many. So this is a, just a lovely way of trying to diminish the pile. So And I'm just trying to keep, I mean, it's not going to be exact, but I'm trying to keep an even border between each one. But as I say, it, it won't be necessarily perfect, but at least if you can just try your best to keep an even space. Just going along. No, so I'll just trim that bottom bit. Looks like so. And then I think, just check, I would probably have red, yellow, blue, a bit of blue, just. No, it would be that way, wouldn't it? Yeah, there would be a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm just going to stick a little smidge of glue on one side of this and just stick that down. And then just trim that off. It's daisy. There we go. And then just cut that. So there I've got my nice strip to go along 
the bottom of here. So it's a really nice, bright, cheery kind of card. Um, so I'm just going to stick that down. Like so. I forgot to trim along the bottom, so I've done it now. I would have actually trimmed a little tiny smidge off the bottom, but we're not worrying about that. It's on the card now, and that's it done. So that's just a really easy way to use up um, scraps, and I might just stick some um, bling on that. Let's see what we have. That would be nice for that. There's little mermaid blue ones. Let's just see. That have got pink and blue and purple, which is a bit like all the colours I've used in this. So I'm just going to come in and just stick a couple of bling just on, they say three, don't they? So I'll just do one, two, and then um, just think maybe a clear one. On there. Okay. And that's that really. I actually really like that. So that's just a little set card to send to somebody that just needs a little perk up. I think that'd be really nice. 